Knowledge without practice is useless. Practice without knowledge is dangerous. Women and people of low birth are very hard to deal with. If you are friendly to them, they get out of hand, and if you keep your distance, they resent it. A great man is hard on himself, a small man is hard on others. A man is great not because he hasn't failed, a man is great because failure hasn't stopped him. Keep it simple and focus on what matters. Don't let yourself be overwhelmed. To know your faults and be able to change is the greatest virtue. I was complaining that I had no shoes till I met a man who had no feet. Education breeds confidence. Confidence breeds hope. Hope breeds peace. Expect much from yourself and little from others and you will avoid incurring resentments. Before you embark on a journey of revenge, dig two graves. Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Cultivate the root. The leaves and branches will take care of themselves. Being strong does not mean that you never fall down, but that whenever you fall, you get up again. An orchid in a deep forest sends out its fragrance even if no one is around to appreciate it. It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. Tell people, and they may forget. Show them, they may remember. But involve them, and they will understand. We are so busy doing the urgent that we don't have time to do the important. The gem cannot be polished without friction, nor man without trials. Do not worry if others do not understand you. Instead, worry if you do not understand others. Happiness does not consist in having what you want, but in wanting what you have. When it is obvious that the goals cannot be reached, don't adjust the goals. Adjust the action steps. He who cannot describe the problem will never find the solution to that problem. Three things cannot long be hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. If you chase two rabbits, you catch none. Real knowledge is to know the extent of one's ignorance. Every house guest brings you happiness. Some when they arrive, and some when they are leaving. Attack the evil that is within yourself, rather than attacking the evil that is in others. When anger rises, think of the consequences. Act with kindness, but do not expect gratitude. As the water shapes itself to the vessel that contains it, so a wise man adapts himself to circumstances. Exemplary persons are steadfast in the face of adversity, while petty persons are engulfed by it. Do not wish for quick results, nor look for small advantages. If you seek quick results, you will not reach the ultimate goal. If you are led astray by small advantages, you will never accomplish great things. The superior person is in harmony, but does not follow the crowd. The lesser person follows the crowd, but is not in harmony. Of course you want to be rich and famous. It's natural. Wealth and fame are what every man desires. The question is, what are you willing to trade for it? Life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. A wise man has dignity without pride. A fool has pride without dignity. It is easy to hate, and it is difficult to love. This is how the whole scheme of things works. All good things are difficult to achieve, and bad things are very easy to get. Don't worry about being acknowledged by others. Worry about failing to acknowledge them. To put the world in order, we must first put the nation in order. To put the nation in order, we must first put the family in order. To put the family in order, we must first cultivate our personal life. We must first set our hearts right. If you want happiness for a year, inherit a fortune. If you want happiness for a lifetime, help someone else. Everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. It is the law of nature that woman should be held under the dominance of man. There is only one thing in life which never changes, and it is change. 
The superior person is calm and composed. The lesser person is continuously worried and distressed. To know what is the right thing to do and not do it is the greatest cowardice. The archer who misses his mark does not blame the target. He stops, corrects himself, and shoots again. When I am with others, they are my teachers. I can select their good points and follow them, and select their bad points and avoid them. If there were one word that could act as a standard of conduct for one's entire life, perhaps it would be thoughtfulness. There are 1,000 lessons in defeat, but only one in victory. A reasonable man adjusts himself to the world. An unreasonable man expects the world to adjust itself to him. Therefore, all progress is made by unreasonable people. By three methods we may learn wisdom. First, by reflection, which is noblest. Second, by imitation, which is easiest. And third, by experience, which is the bitterest. He who learns but does not think is lost. He who thinks but does not learn is in great danger. All the darkness in the world can't put out the light of one candle. First, there must be order and harmony within your own mind. The man who says he can and the man who says he can not are both correct. They must often change who would be constant in happiness or wisdom. Coarse rice to eat, water to drink, my bended arm for a pillow. Therein is happiness. Wealth and rank attained through immoral means are nothing but drifting clouds. You can cheat an honest man but not make a fool out of him. Ask yourself constantly, what is the right thing to do? Behave toward everyone as if receiving a great guest. Learn as though you would never be able to master it. Hold it as though you would be in fear of losing it. A man who does not think and plan long ahead will find trouble right at his door. Choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. Please stop waiting for a better and more appropriate time to become happy and focus on the moment you live in. Happiness is not an arrival, it is the journey itself. Many people seek for happiness above the height of human beings, some below. Yet happiness is exactly at the exact height of human beings. Success depends upon previous preparation, and without such preparation there is sure to be failure. A wise man seeks by music to strengthen his soul. The thoughtless one uses it to stifle his fears. The superior man does not set his mind either for or against anything. He will pursue whatever is right. The superior man thinks of virtue, the common man of comfort. Music produces a kind of pleasure which human nature cannot do without. The ideal teacher guides his students, but does not pull them along. He urges them to go forward and does not suppress them. He opens the way, but does not take them to the place. When you see a good man, try to emulate his example. And when you see a bad man, search yourself for his faults. Don't worry that other people don't know you. Worry that you don't know other people. To practice five things under all circumstances constitutes perfect virtue. These five are gravity, generosity of soul, sincerity, earnestness, and kindness. Sincerity is the end and beginning of things. Without sincerity, there would be nothing. Great is the man who can overcome the world, but greater still is the man who can overcome himself, for he will have the world spinning on the palm of his hand. Old age, believe me, is a good and pleasant thing. It is true you are gently shouldered off the stage, but then you are given such a comfortable front stall as spectator. At 15, my mind was bent on learning. At 30, I stood firm. At 40, I had no doubts. At 50, I knew the decrees of heaven. At 60, my ear was receptive to truth. At 70, I could follow my heart's desires without sin. There are three things to beware of through life. When a man is young, let him beware of his appetites. When he is middle-aged, of his passions, and when old, of covetousness especially. The superior person gathers his weapons together in order to provide against the unforeseen. A gentleman can see a question from all sides without bias. The small man is biased and can see a question only from one side. 
No lake so still, but it has its wave. No circle so perfect, but that it has its blur. I would change things for you if I could. As I can't, you must take them as they are. To know is to know that you know nothing. That is the meaning of true knowledge. There are three friendships which are advantageous and three which are injurious. Friendship with the upright, friendship with the sincere, and friendship with the man of much observation, these are advantageous. Friendship with the man of spacious airs, friendship with the insinuatingly soft, and friendship with the glib-tongued, these are injurious. Study without reflection is a waste of time. Reflection without study is dangerous. It is not the failure of others to appreciate your abilities that should trouble you, but rather your failure to appreciate theirs. A good man does not worry about not being known by others, but rather is concerned about not knowing them. First, there must be order and harmony within your own mind. Then this order will spread to your family, then to the community, and finally to your entire kingdom. Only then can you have peace and harmony. Wisdom humanity, and courage. These three are universal virtues. The way by which they are practiced are one. When you meet someone better than yourself, turn your thoughts to becoming his equal. When you meet someone not as good as you are, look within and examine your own self. The most beautiful sight in the world is a little child going confidently down the road of life after you have shown him the way. Consideration for others is the basis of a good life, a good society. Be sincere and true to your word, serious and careful in your actions, and you will get along even among barbarians. But if you are not sincere and untrustworthy in your speech, frivolous and careless in your actions, how will you get along even among your own neighbors? When stand, see these principles in front of you, in your carriage see them on the yoke, then you may be sure to get along.